How's it going, everyone? Uh, it's Reversal Trader King. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice Sunday. I just want to go over and review some stocks, some stocks that a lot of people are talking about and um, has a lot of uh, activity so I can review them and see if we can qualify uh, for a continuation move. So EMKR MCOR has had, you know, a very beat that, you know, it got beat down from their last earnings. It went <laughs> like 61%, so probably caught a lot of eyes from that uh, move down. So it went from 290 and it fell to one buck and it just kept going down to like 80 cents. And now we're back over, you know, a dollar. We're at a uh, buck and nine cents or, or buck and 18 cents, my bad. So uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, 121 after hours. And uh, how, how are we going to trade this? And it's kind of sad. I, I, I can't believe I uh, kind of missed this because this is a beautiful setup. You know, in hindsight, when you look at it, I could have easily got way down there. But I get a little, you know, over less than $1 stocks are a lot riskier. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking at the system, um, it's done perfectly what I wanted to do. Um, you had this big drop down, but I never trade the first big drop down because we need some time distance. And a lot of times I've seen stocks just, just keep going down, right? And yes, you might get lucky and get these little bounces here, but it's just not worth it. So what happens is we hit this lower band here, and that is considered your buy zone. It doesn't mean you get in right away. We just know, okay, this is an ATR4, which is extremely oversold, and we should rebound to the purple band, which is the EMA5. And then the yellow is the 10, and then eventually the EMA 20. Um, I have time. I have lengths of when those have to, you know, have to hit in a, you know, in in like a, you know, like uh, in a normal time period or like long. But just keep in mind, you know, anything that don't touch your EMA five and seven daily candles, candles in a penny stock is extremely rare. So if we count the candles that went down, uh, we have right here, we have the touch on the EMA 20 right here and we touch all the bands this candle right here is not touching any of your emas but the ones we're aiming for is the ema5 as that's going to give us a nice consistently consistently win right so we have one two three four five six seven but the problem is we are not at you know the the lower band so we want to make sure we coordinate it with the atr4 so this right here um eventually touched the ema5 but it's just not you know, the trade we wanted. And then right in here is when we do touch the ATR4. And wow, yeah, what a beautiful setup here. And these are the setups, like, if you if you guys are watching this, and you know, if you're a Discord member and you have my system, if you're not a Discord member, you can access it with the link down below in the YouTube comments. It'll be pinned. But the ATR4 is a very, very powerful thing. If you use it with the distance, and if you look at it, we haven't touched the EMA 10 and 20 for quite some time. If we hover over this candle here, it's at 508. This candle's at 606. If you guys remember, I said anything that don't touch the EMA 10 in one month time frame is really long. And it's, um, yeah, and, and it was just absolutely beautiful, right? We didn't have really much volume, and I think that's why I kind of hesitated from this stock. I'm looking at the volume. We're like, like 300,000, 160,000, 180. So, yeah, you do like to have volume, but it is interesting to say, like, we hit this ATR4 right in here. This is where you should be getting into, and then we get to a nice ATR, you know, right here at the EMA 10, and look at this candle alone, 14%, 4%, 2%, 1%, you know, nice conservative gain there. And well, what happens is, guys, we usually always reject at the 10, and a lot of people don't know that, and they start buying into this, and then we start buying back, you know, we start going back down. We almost make a new low. Actually, we did make a new low and probably scared a lot of people. So we had this big rally up just to make a new low, and then we touched the 10 again and then reject again and go down so what's nice is we know we're going to touch the 20 now and that's you know did it have to happen at this time no i i suspected another atr4 bounce down here but it decided just go straight to the 20 so here's this here's the scary part guys we hit the ema 20 we are kind of above the emas you guys are kind of playing with fire whoever's in this or you know it could very easily well just plummet right down i see that happen a lot of the times but if you are still in it, the next target would be the upper band. Since we are at the all the EMAs, this is where you will target next. And I want to see, has EMKR ever hit the upper band? Just so you guys can see, like sometimes it, it can, but 
yeah, like right in here, we get close to the upper band. We start seeing that the EMAs start going up. So that is considered a down, uh, an uptrend. But a lot of the times, penny stocks can't um, hold that. And like this simple earnings right here made it gap down and then, you know, it ruined the momentum. So um, as you can see, this gaps down a lot at like every, oh, well, this earnings went up and then it gapped down. Interesting. Um, so um, we get close to the ATR4 and then we go up. But we never, ever actually hit the upper band. So I do want you guys to keep that in mind. Uh, we get very close to it, but we never act. Oh, this one got really close. But even then, you know, as you can see, we have to hit that EMA5. You know, we get away from it, and then we go right towards it. And um, shorts can make, you know, decent money, but not too much. Right here. Okay, here we go. We get very close here. That's literally, like, almost a touch. And then what happens is, just like the buy zone this is a sell zone we come tumbling down so um yeah i'd be very careful guys i know this uh, a lot of people are seeing this saying this is amazing setup because you got this nice gap and it, people are saying it has to fill but that's not necessarily true these gaps do not have to fill as you can see we have gaps for days on this stock um we have a gap right in here um we have a gap this one did get filled but um yeah, it could very well just go down and then create a third gap and then it will leave, leave you uh, bag holding for sure. So this is EMKR. Um, I do want to keep in mind too, um, the K on the KDJ is at 72.99. That is considered to be on the overextended side of things. If you look at this K value right here, 72.99, just like in RSI, if you're over 70, you are at the overextended area. So when this does pull back, that value will go lower. If you look at this value candle here, we were at a K of 8.42, right at the ATR4. So that's why it made more sense to buy down at this area compared to up in this area. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. This is the band strategy. I love it. It it really keeps the guesswork out of it. I, I never get FOMO. I never chase. If a stock has already run, I look for another stock because there's thousands of stocks and there's always an opportunity to get into something. And just keep in mind, pennies are extremely risky. You know, a, you know, a lot of big caps that are doing this formation can stay on an uptrend a lot longer or form it. Whereas a penny stock, more times than, you know, nine times out of ten, they don't take their uptrend, you know, they don't stay on their uptrends. They do collapse very fast. So, uh, yeah, this was an amazing opportunity down here. I, I like to see it even on this low volume here. Um, and it still did very well. So congrats to whoever got in down at that. That's kind of, that is what I'm looking for, guys. If you ever see my strategy and you see, you know, massive time distance of the EMA 10 and 20, you're seeing this lower band touch on the ATR4. It's not a bad opportunity to accumulate. And always look at the five minute chart. And um, as you can see, wow, this was beautiful. Um, so if you get close to the lower band on a five minute chart, and you see that you know you're hitting this lower band that's how you get more precise entries once you you know meet the daily candle and then if you look at the upper band here if you're if you're looking at you know don't ever buy it up here because if you see it on the five minute you're overextended and it immediately goes back to the 5 10 and 20 and then it decides to go back wherever it wants from there so uh yeah like right in here was a decent opportunity to get in uh, yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to join the premium discord and learn my strategies and how to um, uh, learn more and, and be able to uh, figure this out more, we have lots of people that know how to do it. I'm here to help all the time. If you click the link down below in the YouTube comments, it'll say join the premium discord uh, to be a profitable trader. And it'll take you to this free chat landing page. And um, if you want to join the service, there, uh, you head on over to the server shop. I offer two services, the Day Trading Plus and Swing Trading Plus. Um, if you do the Day and Swing Trading Plus, you get access to all the alerts, Swing Trading and Day Trading, and access to all the education. All these channels will unlock for 12 bucks a month. I think you guys are going to really like it. It's, it's really one of my favorite strategies. I've done every strategy probably in trading. I've, I, I've been in other discords that charge hundreds of dollars, and they still lost and most of them just make money on the fees. I think a lot of you guys in here, I'm trying to be very transparent. I'm really trying to teach you guys mainly how to fish, right? I don't want to be like the um, Discord that just gives you alerts and you guys follow it and you have no reason why you're following it and you have no idea why, you know, what, what your exits are, what your entries are. And you, you, it needs to make sense for you guys to be profitable trader. 
And that's more what I wanted. I don't want just people to copy. I want you to understand it. So in this day and swing trading plus, I obviously I'm going to recommend that because you get the most value, more alerts with day trading, swing trading, more opportunities to see stocks that I like and uh, get your uh, feet wet. It's a really nice service. Um, you're going to see my RTK journal, which you can see my active trades I'm in with my wins and losses. Um, and then you have day trade alerts right here and you can kind of see how I'm doing it and swing trade alerts. Like you can see right here, I took SPCE at 8.23 um, right in here. And you can see exactly um, my limit order. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, this is EMKR. I would be very cautious. Um, right now we are at the EMA5. It could barely well go up from there. That is a bounce triggering effect. And we did hit all the EMAs. So now we continue up to this upper band. It's just not my setup that i take you know i look for bottom reversals which is the bread and butter type of plays down here and um if it does go all the way up in here then maybe i can play the other side of the coin and and i would short it so there's always so many ways to play the you know the the, the coin right so you know don't get impatient there's always another stock if you guys like this video give it a like subscribe comment and i love to have you guys and oh and also if you do subscribe do it on your computer because you will avoid the ios fee it is cheaper if you subscribe on your computers so trying to help you guys out i know this service is extremely cheap already but i know a lot of people are hurting out there i want you guys to be profitable traders and save you guys the most money for your money or you know save you know as much money as you can and if you guys make money i make money that's the the name of the game here guys so hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys in the discord if you want to be there catch you on the next video peace out and catch you next time